There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world It's your girl A, and y'all already know what time it is. Welcome back, everybody, to my channel. It's gonna be another She In haul, y'all. This is like number seven, okay? Like I told y'all, once you addicted to She In, you addicted to She In. So y'all remember that that huge anniversary sale that they had going on? It was from the 25th of September to the 9th of October. Well, you already know your girl bought some stuff from that sale. I didn't really go over. I mean, I did have like three orders come in. That's not really a lot because you know I tried to keep it at a low, low price. You know what I'm saying? But I did order three times. I did buy some stuff from that sale. So I did do some videos today. On some wigs so yes you guys that's why my hair is long for this video today now here's the one thing that i did want to mention to you guys before we even get started as you guys know i am plus size all of my clothes from Shein are in the curve section okay i guess that's a nice way of putting it calling it plus size but i am a plus size girl in american sizes i wear a size 16 to 18 okay that's more or less like a size 1x but on Shein, i do wear a 2x do the math and do the calculations with your measurements don't just go sizing up and say oh well i size up or size up two times because that's not going to get you like a proper fit Always measure yourself, write it down, put it in your phone. And then every time you buy something from Shein, look at the measurements because sometimes you do need to size down, okay? Now, I did also want to mention this because, girl, listen, some people get a little bit besides themselves and really don't know how to STFU. So I'm going to just say this for you right here. Girl, look, okay? I don't need nobody sending me no type of messages or comments talking about, girl, you know you don't put on some weight. I don't think I need anybody to tell me that I put on weight. Girl, you know you don't put on some weight. You think? I don't need nobody telling me I put on no weight. Don't you think I know that? I live with myself. I look at myself every day. 24-7, I'm with myself every day. So I don't think I need anybody to tell me that I put on anybody's weight anyway. You know what I'm saying? I think I would be the first to know and you would probably be the last. And on top of that, you don't really need to tell me that in the comments. You don't really need to tell me that at all, sweetheart, because I love my size. I love who I am. Like I said, I don't need anybody to tell me that I put on weight. I'm pretty sure I'm aware of that, period. So let's get on to this haul. Now, I don't really have a lot of accessories for this time around, girl. But I'm gonna just say this. Girl, she and had the best of the best of the best of the best of the best costume jewelry okay i love the accessories so of course i did pick up just a little bit just a little bit this time around you know something just to be dazzling me and make me feel like my, my purchase was worth purchasing okay that's really it oh um, okay so i was trying to be a little bit different this time around and get some different type of earrings that were like statement pieces girl you know something that you don't see on an everyday basis or that you're not gonna see me wearing but damn these i thought was so damn cute i can't remember how much i paid for them but girl i thought these were screaming my name and then when they came they was a little bit bigger than a picture you know how they say some things appear bigger than in real life or whatever these was definitely bigger in real life now i like them when they're big like this but i did not think that they was going to be this big now these are really nice though i like these these are just like post earrings i got them in two colors i'm gonna wear these i'm definitely gonna wear these now the one thing that i don't like about get earrings from she in sometimes you have to be really careful when you're removing them because if you don't girl they're gonna break now i'm not really sure if these are supposed to be bent like this but these are so damn cute look at these okay these are like office wear office material office look these is a lot i like these these are like classy these remind me something of like the late 80s like something my mama would wear you know what i mean like the ladies that was going to church they would have on something like these i call these like button earrings because they look like buttons you know what i'm saying like this is something my mother or my aunties would be wearing to church this is like old lady church like type earrings but with a little bit big dowsman like they weren't this big back then but they had that same concept and then girl look i came through with the pink pair too okay pink pair might not be church lady but the gold ones is definitely screaming church lady deacon put something in the collection plate get your fan out usher after after church dinners this is screaming after church dinners it's pink one is just is screaming like girl you know all about the bedazzlement okay these pink ones is like everything look at these these are like so cute girl these are like screaming spring summer let me tell y'all something my mama she never let me get my ears pierced until i was like 11 11 or 12 was when i got my ears pierced finally so i had to wear clip-on earrings throughout the whole school term not through 
the whole school term, but long enough, okay? And of course they had like a nice, well, they didn't really have a nice variety of clip-on earrings. I ain't even gonna lie, but a lot of my clip-on earrings kind of look like this or had like hearts. They, you know what I'm saying? All my little friends was going to junior high school. They had their ears pierced or whatever. And I had on some clip-on earrings. I mean, I still thought I was getting jinky with it. I found and profile, whatever you want to call it. But when I finally got my ears pierced, I was so damn happy. I had to sneak to put on the, the big knockers. My mother was not playing that. So when I was wanting to wear stuff like this, I had to, you know, sneak those out the house instead of wearing something like this. But I like these. Like, I like stuff like this. And this is really cute. Like, you know, my, my more grown-up days, I got my ears pierced and stuff. And I'm really feeling these. Like, I could really pair these with a nice, cute maxi skirt or a maxi dress when the springtime comes. Be honest, springtime always out here. It's wintertime here, so honey, it's like springtime weather. Okay. These right here are definitely a statement area. I'm not really sure where I'm wearing these to, where I'm going, who I'm going to see, where concert I'm going to, what date night I'm going on. But I thought these was definitely like, girl, you got to get those. And you know what's so crazy about these? They sold out. And then I was kind of pissed off about that because every time I put something in my cart, everybody want to be liking the same thing I got. So luckily when you leave it in your cart, when it come back in stock, girl, it's back to yours. So I thought these were so cute. I'm not sure why, but they just clean different. They different. They, they big. They round. You know what I'm saying? They gold. They cute. Like, I like cute stuff, okay? I like stuff that I really don't need to be buying. But I'm, I'm guessing maybe you could just, like, turn them whichever kind of way. The way they were advertised was like this on the, on the website. Like, the bigger part on the top. Let's see. I mean, they all right. Let's see. I'm not really sure which way I like them best. They would definitely stay in place like this. The other way, I'm not really sure if they'll stay in place. They are different. They're different. And it all depends on what you're wearing them with. So, for what I have on right now, I'm not really sure how I'm feeling about it. I think for this type of earring, you'll definitely want to, like, keep your hair up. So, that way, you could just draw more attention to the earring instead of hiding them behind, like, long hair. These would definitely be great with, like, your hair pinned up or in a ponytail. They're not heavy, if you're wondering about that. They're definitely not heavy. They're very lightweight. For the most part, they're decent. I really did like them, and I thought that they looked really great on the model. Not saying they don't look great on me, but... I'm I'm gonna, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm gonna give them like a 6, okay? I was really hoping for a 10. Now, girl, I don't know why I had one of these earrings so bad, but when I tell you they had sold out on me, refunded me my money back and all that, I was not too pleased. Why, she and why? Finally, they came back in stock and I was able to get my hand on a pair and I really, really do like these. These are hoop earrings, but girl, do you see that? These are so different. So cute. They remind me of something like Aztec, Egyptian-like. I'm not really sure. I cannot pinpoint it, but I really thought these were different and I like the size. Them. I love big stuff. I didn't mean it like that, but you understand what I'm saying. Let's just move past that, okay? Anyway, so as I was saying, I really like these, and these were hoop earrings, but with a different, just a whole different design. Somewhat like my shirt, they kind of give me like that type of vibe from it. It's just the way they were made. Look at these. These are like, girl, I like these. I'm not sure what it is about these hoop earrings, but I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one since my money was refunded and they kept being sold out. But they have like a nice weight to them. They're not heavy, if that's what you're concerned about. They're solid. They have a nice weight to them so they're not gonna bend or break easily but i thought these were so damn cute now, i can't remember if they came in silver or any other colors this was the pair that i was going for and i'm glad that i got these and they came back in because a girl was really really wanting these i'm so hungry y'all i am starving i'm not really sure what i'm gonna eat for dinner but i am so hungry now i've seen these when i was about to check out you know like when you be at the store like in person and you have to check out line like let's say you go to like ulta or forever 21 you know how they be having all that extra stuff there at the checkout line that you really don't need to buy you know what I'm saying? Like makeup, hair ties, you know, lint roll brushes, all that kind of stuff that they be having at the, the self-checkout when it's time to leave and you really don't need that stuff. This is what I see on my way checking out because she and be having that same thing. Well, you could add this for just 99 cents more. You could add this for just five cents more to your order. If you add this, you will get free expedited shipping. That's how she and be getting you. But girl, I still thought these was rather cute. Ooh, child. Wow, they broke. So did they really come like this and the other pieces right here? This little piece? I mean, I could easily fix fix this oh yeah i could fix this but i shouldn't have to so these i thought these were so damn cute it's this is reminding me of like 80s when everybody had on those little windbreaker suits late 80s you know what i'm saying early early 90s like 1990 1991 1989 well if y'all don't know what i'm talking about that means y'all born back then but i'm just saying we had those windbreakers on we had like the car canine we had like that color blocking you know we had like that in living color girl i'm talking about those days okay that's what it reminded me of it gave me that whole vibe do they not want me to put the earring on. Look at them. Aren't these cute? They are so cute. They very lightweight and petite. And girl, like I said, you best to be careful when you buy something from Shein because it will either come broken, you will break it, or a girl later on down the line is just gonna fall apart. Okay, like these damn earrings. I'm so upset about that. These are really cute though. You know what I'm saying? They just simple, basic, not really spectacular about them.
them, very lightweight. I just thought they was cute, they were different, and it just gave me that early, early 90s vibe, late 80s, early 90s vibe. So because this one is broken, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make it into, not a hoop earring, but a hook earring. For the fish hook earrings, I have lots of those, and I'm going to make them into that. And then they'll hang even lower. Take me like five minutes, if that. Just give me five minutes, maybe even both. Now, the last pair of earrings is something that I had already purchased, but they only came in a single. Well, this one came in a pair. If y'all remember, I had these little butterfly cup earrings that I had got, and I was like, girl, be careful, because if you pinch them too much, they're going to break. So this time around, they came in a two, in a pair, in a set, which is great. I love them. I love them. And I was so excited to get them in a set, because this way, I could wear them on either ear or at the same damn time. Look, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, because the girl in the picture did not look like this. Like, I swear to you guys, is my ears, like, growing? I don't know what the hell is going on, but I'm just trying to figure this all out. Why? Why is it not fitting my ear like hers? And I'm scared to pinch the damn thing because it might fall apart. This must be like for some toddler type ears. Like maybe this for my granddaughter. These must be for people with really small ears because, you know, I don't know. I'm scared to bend it. Now, ain't that cute, girl? <laughs> I figured it out. <laughs> Who am I fooling? Now, look, you could really be cute and have both ears done. Girl, yes, these are two... So basically, you have to take the bottom and kind of like tuck it under your ear or something like that, girl. I don't even know how to explain it. But if you get yourself a pair, then you know what I'm talking about. But these are so cute. And now I have two. I can wear two at a time. And I can look extra, extra, extra cute. Yes, boo boo. So anyway, we're going to get into this try on. And I also do have a jacket from a company on Amazon too that I'm going to be trying out in this video. It's a plaid jacket. So I'll definitely make sure to mention that in the video. So, you know, it does get like semi-cold here. All right, guys, I thought I would do a voiceover for this part of the video. So as you guys see, I am wearing a red wrapped shirt and a floral print leggings. So I did purchase this shirt a minute ago, probably like five, six months ago. I didn't have any intentions or any idea what I was going to pair it with until I recently purchased these floral print leggings. I absolutely love the leggings and the shirt together. The shoes go very well with it as well. And you can get those on Shein too. A whole three piece outfit from Shein Girl. Now this outfit right here, I love asymmetrical blouses. I love when my shoulders are out. Girl, I don't know why, but I think it looks sexy. But I was really digging these pants. I love the V, the um, like the symmetrical waist in them, the let the wide legged. But I'm gonna just be honest. I was kind of iffy about the pants. One minute I was liking them, and one minute I wasn't. I felt like they made me look bigger than what I really was. I'm not really sure. It gives a comfy vibe, a really comfortable vibe. But I'm not really sure how I feel about the pants. I like them, and then I don't like them. You guys, let me know. But then I also got this floral print jacket. Yes, I know it does match the leggings, but trust me when I tell you I'm not wearing those together. I also did get these ripped denim jeans from Shein, which I love. I have another pair and I wear them almost all the time. It's still hot out here. And then this blouse, which is a paisley print button up blouse. I really did like this a lot. I like the sleeves on it. I wasn't too sure what I was gonna wear it with until I realized I do have these in my closet which I had from Shein for like, gosh, a couple of years ago. So I'm sorry and I do apologize in advance that I cannot find the SKU or the item number for those pants, but they do have loads of them, some very similar that you can find. But I thought that the blouse and the pants went very well. The only issue I was having with the pants was they are very stretchy, but they kept like getting in between my thighs and it was driving me crazy. Now this is my favorite outfit from this entire purchase. I love, love, love this windbreaker two-piece suit. Now, it does come separate. You cannot get them as a set. You have to purchase them separately. But I was so feeling this. I'm not really sure what color sneakers I would wear with this. I was thinking white. I don't know. You guys let me know what color sneakers I should wear with this. But I absolutely love it. It has pockets in the front. And girl, it even has pockets in the pants, okay? It also has these little patches on the side which match one another. Do you see me put my hands in my pockets? Girl, I love this. This gave me my old, whole entire life back. Like early, early 90s. This was, I had a two piece just like this. It was Hot Pink by Nike. Love that outfit. Now this right here is not from Shein. It is from Amazon. An Amazon seller did send this to me. And from the reviews on the website, it did say that it ran a little bit big and to size down. I wish I would have just got an extra large because it's kind of like tight across the breast part and I cannot button it. But I mean, I don't really like to button too much stuff anyway. It's really cool out here in the winter time. This would definitely be perfect for the winter. It has pockets on the front breast pockets and it also has side pockets. 
and it's very flattering i like i really do like this okay there's also one that i just got from shein that looks identical to it which i will be showing you guys the boots are from target but guess what i got them brand new at the thrift store and the jeans are also from shein i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think stay diva and divalicious and i'll see you in the next one bye so I can focus.